guys are kidding, right? Are you David Dobrik? <laughs> Wait, no. This is ZHC, aka Zach, the king of YouTube art. He was able to grow by 10 million subscribers in just one year by finding the spot where art can be trendy. That makes him one of the fastest growing YouTuber of all time. In this video, I go over ZHC's history, what videos made him popular, and what did Zach do exactly to go from 20,000 subscribers just two years ago to a staggering 12.5 million subscribers count today and spending tens of thousands of dollars in every video. So how did he do it? Well, over the past three years, ZHC has gone through five distinct phases. Let's start with the first phase, his Instagram days where he went from 20,000 followers to 300,000 followers in just three months. So quick backstory, in early 2016, CHC was in high school and easily bored in classes. So what he would do is draw all day to get out of boredom. He then started an Instagram as a hobby to showcase his drawings. He slowly got some traction on Instagram, but nothing crazy, until big art Instagram pages started sharing his art. The more he posted on Instagram, the more he realized that he could get big pages to share his work. So as a young Instagrammer, he would dedicate 1-2 to two hours every day to reach 500 to 1000 people in addition to drawing every day. That hustle led to a jaw-dropping growth. We see him go from 20,000 followers on Instagram in January 2017 to 300,000 3 months later. However, his growth decreased significantly when Instagram changed their algorithm. Around that time, his followers were encouraging him to start a YouTube channel and that was a logical next step for him. We are now in phase 2, his tutorial days. Big Art YouTube channels were mainly doing tutorials, so he followed the trend and focused on doing how-to videos. It's during this time he would hone his skills as an artist by drawing every single day. We can see here the difference in quality from his drawings as the years pass. Even with a massive 400,000 followers count on Instagram, he was growing very slowly on YouTube with only 10,000 subscribers. The problem with tutorials is that they are not original and this type of content is oversaturated. So he tried new things to stand out. And that's what phase 3 is all about here, trying to bring art into trendy topics. He did skits, tried reviewing art memes, did ASMR videos, and a whole bunch of random videos related to art. It's during this phase that we see more of his personality shine. We see more of his face in videos and thumbnails. We start seeing more a glimpse at his personal life with his friend Steve and his girlfriend, making videos more entertaining and not purely informative. ZHC refers to PewDiePie saying, if you want to succeed long term, people really have to care about you as a person and not just what you're showing. Prior to this phase, he was just showing art and people did not know who he really is. By trying all types of content, he got his first winner with the world's weirdest pencil video on May 18, 2018, which blew up. After that video, he gained 20,000 subscribers in just one month. For context, it took him one year and a half to reach his first 20,000 subscribers. He carried on trying to make art as trendy as possible, doing other successful videos like Can You Draw With A Pencil Made Of Ice? or Draw KSI. We then see a shift in his videos where they resemble more and more like Mr. Beast content. This is when he did the one line art challenge in September 2018 which marks the moment he went from having hundreds of thousands of views per week to millions of views per week. This leads us to the fourth phase, the Mr. Beast inspired videos where he would do over the top challenges in the art sphere. Videos like drawing 10 hours straight or I made giant art using only gold did really well. He then had a turning point moment with the PewDiePie drawing on February 17, 2019. So to give some context, PewDiePie vs T-Series battle for the first to reach 100 million subscribers was ongoing, and PewDiePie was trending. Many smaller YouTubers were trying to help in their own way, like MrBeast going all out with the Super Bowl ad. ZHC did his own spin on the movement and drew PewDiePie for 24 hours. That video went viral and his picture even got up to 76,000 upvotes on Reddit. The growth from there on out went crazy. We clearly see his growth going from a slightly inclined flatline to a rocket ship type growth. So he carried on doing similar challenges to Mr. Beast, which turned out to do really well. He did videos like drawing PewDiePie in one breath, paid an artist $20,000 to finish a drawing, or last to stop drawing wins $10,000. In this last video actually, the grand prize was initially $3,000 since he only had $20,000 in the bank. But after thinking about it overnight, he concluded that $3,000 may not be worth it. 
so he took 10,000 out of his 20,000 in his bank for that single video. That was his big leap of faith that paid off and ever since then, we can see him invest quite a lot in pretty much all of his videos. Now, if phase 4 was him taking inspiration from big YouTubers, phase 5 was him being his own original self. He released this video of him customizing 11 iPhone 11s and giving them away. This one video was the catalyst that would end up adding 10 million extra subscribers in the following months. The idea was genius by using a product that was trending since it had just been released and using a product that is considered by all to be well designed and top tier. That video changed the growth to a ridiculously higher level. The following week, that upload brought him an additional 650,000 subscribers. So obviously, upon seeing this success, he was able to keep the momentum by continuing to release the videos in the same genre. Combining personalized art plus giveaways was a winning formula. However, he found an even better formula. Personalized art plus giveaway plus famous YouTuber or TikToker. By using the full potential of collaborations, his growth went from getting 750,000 average monthly subscribers, which is already insane, to getting 1.7 million average monthly subscribers. Just for comparison, MrBeast himself, the man with 35 million subscribers, is now gaining on average 1.5 million subscribers per month. So after releasing the collaboration with Charlie D'Amelio, the most followed TikToker in the world, his video went viral getting 47 million views and gaining him 800,000 subscribers the following week. He has also done other collaborations with famous TikTokers and YouTubers like Mr. Beast, James Charles, and Addison Rae. We even see him doing a TikTok with Jason Derulo. His impressive growth can largely be defined by being able to create original content which led to art being trendy and him giving away products while asking nothing in return. That's it for ZHC! So if you guys like the content, please let me know in the comments below and let me know who else you would want to see analyzed. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace!